Hi, and uh, welcome to another edition of Onside SA. And uh, we've got to the stage where we've seen who won the league, who's been promoted, but a lot of drama in South Africa. The PSL again showed they've, they've got flaws in budget. Before we speak to Stevie B, mm -hmm. let's talk about this Ajax Capeton or AX Capeton yeah. debacle. Okay, let the public know what, what well, we know. Well, they fielded an eligible player three games, Tenda and Doro. So I haven't read right the, the details. Reportedly, he's played for three, he signed for three clubs, but you only play for two. What do you mean you signed for three? Don't you well, sign he signed for, one for club? Pirates and he went apparently to Saudi Arabia to sign, then he came back and signed for Ajax. But you can only play for two teams in that season. He's played for three. So in the three games that he played, they took seven points. So now what's happened is they've had they forfeited the seven. Now, one of those games they beat Platinum Stars. Right. So while they, they gained three, they've lost the three points, and Platinum Stars, they gained the three points. So in the league log, they finished above AX Cape Town. So Platinum Stars went into the playoffs, which they got beat yesterday at Black Leopards, and uh, AX got relegated. But it begs the question, who's monitoring this stuff? Well, Paul, you just uh, you never really know. you know. It, uh, but why it didn't get sorted out straight away, I don't That's know. That's right. You know, why so the, the heads must for this. We, we're the laughing stock. Yeah. Laughing stock. So, so they played an eligible player three times, yeah. didn't their points. Lost the points. The guys who monitor that should be bulleted. The guy yeah. who's worked it out now yeah. should have worked it out three games ago. Well, how does AX not know the rules? That's strange. Yeah, that's you know, strange. AX yeah. are yeah. well organised. So. Yeah, well, it seems like they're not. But... Uh, that was, uh, and one more thing just to touch on before we speak to Stevie, Barcelona came into town. Yeah, brilliant, Paul. They did, uh, I don't know if they showed it. Did yeah, the game was it? on, I watched it. Yeah, you uh, could see Pizzo must have told his, his players, listen, guys, don't get fired up and make one or two tackles. It was a nice, friendly game, Paul. Yeah, you know? yeah. Barcelona, obviously, quality team. Messi came on the last 20, but yeah. uh, too good at the end of the day. Just the finishing, the clinical, the last How third. was Percy? Percy Town must have run away. Shocking. He's on his left foot to smash it. He tried to flick. Uh, um, but uh, no, they played well. But you could see they were under instructions not to tackle anybody. Yeah, know. not to get hurt, you know. So well, well done to, uh, yeah. to Boston. But Seppi, you know, he spent a lot of money. 900000 security, reportedly. You know, it's great, Paul. But Yeah, it's great to have them out here, but it's expensive. Yeah. All right. Uh, we got Stevie B on the line. Lovely. Okay, cheers. Stevie? Good morning. Morning, Hello. Steve. You still sober, or have you sobered up yet? Yeah, no, that's all right. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm ready. I'm, I'm ready. You know, <laughs> I've, if, if people are queuing up for the royal wedding, I'd be happy to queue up at Wembley now and uh, <laughs> pitch my tent. <laughs> Stevie, it was obviously uh, disappointing to go uh, 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 lose the first leg, but came back with a, a, a good tunnel win. It, it was, and in fact, I didn't realise until uh, probably just as well until after the result that it's only been, I think, one team in 17 years has overcome a first leg deficit to, to go through, actually win and, and go through. So uh, I think credit to the team. They, they didn't play as well as they could have in the first leg. Mm. Having said that, they, they dominated possession, dominated chances. And the second leg was, was going the same way uh, until we scored. And then it was, there was no question we were uh, the better team. And again, the stats will show that we dominated possession and had sort of three times as many chances as, as Derby did. In fact, they only had two shots on target in the, in the entire um, two games. Yeah, I watched the 10 minute highlights on YouTube the next morning, and by the last, I think the last minute where they were 2 0 down, that was the only time they really had any chances, yeah? Yeah, I mean, I think that uh, they came with a game plan which was to stop us playing. And uh, you know, try and try and pinch the draw, which I guess at half time, um, but for a, a couple of good saves by Scott Carson, mm. uh, you know, it was working for them. But I think the key for us was that we scored very early on in the second half, so yeah. uh, and we sort of up, up the tempo a little bit, so, yeah. and that made that made the difference. Well, what times kick off on, on Saturday? Uh, it's Saturday week. Saturday it's, week. Uh, yeah. Bank holiday Saturday. So oh, uh, six uh, o'clock. Five, 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 5 p.m. kickoff. 5 p.m. Uh, 6 o'clock for us. And it, so it all finish. It, 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 it sort of clashes. It finishes just before the Champions League final starts. Yeah. Okay. Now Aston Villa, Steve. Likewise, we never had the the, the game. The dubious goalkeeper. Why didn't he get sent off? Uh, you know, I have to say, I have absolutely no idea. All the pundits, as far as they were concerned, you know, there's no discretion. It's yeah. a deliberate handball. It was deliberate handball because the ball was going over his head. A deliberate handball outside the box is, is an automatic red card. Whether or not he thought that 
John Terry was behind him that should have made no difference because that yeah. ball could have gone in. So um, I think Middlesbrough are probably quite agreed with that, although it was it was late on yeah. and they nearly scored from the resulting free kick. But obviously it makes a difference. He's their number one choice. You know, good young goalkeeper on loan from Manchester United mm-hmm. and would have been out, uh, out, out of the final. How do you think the final will go, Steve? Biasness. I, I, uh... I suspect, unless there's a, something changes, I suspect it'll be very much uh, Villa um, sitting back. You know, once he got a very, you know, got a strong defence, experienced defence, and looking to catch uh, us on the break. So it's sort of the way they played at times against uh, Middlesbrough. Yeah. Um, you know, and I think the key for us is going to be really to score first, because if Villa score first, they're a hard team to break down. So I think. You know, if you want to see a slightly more expansive game, if, if we are able to score, then I think Villa will have to open up a bit and then it will create some space. Mm-hmm. Worth, a, worth a lot of money, eh, this, this final? It, it's, it's worth a fortune. I mean, that's the, they, they talk about it being the richest game in world football. For the prize of getting into the Premier League and the TV money. Not just in the first year, but obviously you're guaranteed money over a four-year period, whether you stay, stay up or not. So it, it, it's, you know, I mean, Villa are a big team and they obviously feel that they should be back in the Premier League. Mm. We, we, I would think that apart from Wolves, we've probably played um, in, the, in the second half of the season by far the best football. So it, 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 it's probably right that the teams who finished third and fourth yeah. are playing against each other at Wembley. Yeah. Steve, uh, changing tack for a moment. Uh, Buzz and I were talking a moment ago. The two managers, Moyes and Allardyce, got the boot. Yeah, well, the, well, it's very interesting because um, Moyes hasn't quite sort of got the boot. Sounds like, from what I'm reading, is that he um, he had the support of one of the directors, but um, the other one, owner, sort of David Sullivan, was was interviewing uh, a, a potential replacement, yeah. and he found he got wind of that and has effectively sort of walked um, or, or or threatened to walk. So um, the big sound one, yes, and I think. You know, the fact that the writing was on the wall some weeks ago, but they sent out like a questionnaire, yeah, questionnaire to the fans yeah. to say, were they satisfied with it? I, mean, I think, you know, quite a bizarre thing to do. And, and I, I heard one of the um, radio pundits uh, yesterday morning saying, you know, Everton fans need to be a little bit careful as to what they wish for, because, you know, they finished at the end of the day, they were out of trouble. Big Sam was brought in to do a job. He, he had a few wins early on, got them away from the relegation zone. They haven't been playing particularly attractive football, but, you know, he did what was asked of him so um, I mean again there's yet more casualties as you as you probably saw Carlos Carvajal was uh, was sacked at uh, Swansea yeah. he was brought in to keep them up didn't do that and they've obviously decided that um, they need a change as well so I suspect there'll still be more um, on the merry-go-round of uh, sort of managers during the summer yeah. Steve don't you think both of those jobs are poison chalices you know Everton were a famous club years ago they can't finish in the top six. I know David Moyes have finished fourth the one year. And likewise, West Ham. You know, who do they really think they are? You know, it's not well, like I think they... This is, yeah, I, you know, this is absolutely the point. And, you know, we talk about this sort of being three leagues. You have the sort of top, uh, the top six, and you've got the next sort of half a dozen, and then you're always going to have six to eight teams who are going to be bumbling around at the bottom. I mean, Everton, um, unless the new owners are prepared to sort of put substantial money in, then they're not going to finish in the top six. Same as West Ham. They've spent, both teams have spent a lot of money, but they yeah. haven't spent wisely. When you look at some of their acquisitions, they really haven't worked out for them. So, you know, it's all very well spending 30 million here and 40 million there, but if you're not getting the right players, then it's, it's not going to change that. I think West Ham felt that, fans, I think, particularly felt that having moved to the London Stadium, you know, bigger crowds, that they would be able to compete at a slight, and they haven't been able to at all. So, uh, you know, th- th- having said that, we know there will be a queue of managers wanting to go to these clubs. You know, they'll get paid substantially well. If it works, fine. If it doesn't, they walk away with a big paycheck. Yeah. Stevie, there's a, a big game, obviously, coming up, the FA Cup final. And uh, but firstly, I just want to check, did you get the phone call to see if you'd walk the girl down the bride, uh, they were down the aisle, her father can't make it, <laughs> you know? Yeah, I mean, I think they're scraping the barrel at the moment, aren't they? So <laughs> yeah. it's, uh, you know, it's, it's all a bit, uh, it's quite sort of amusing, really. You, you'd think that, that from what um, what you read about some of her family, they shouldn't be at the royal wedding, they should probably be on Jerry Springer. <laughs> so, um, so, so, so we don't know, it, so it, the, it the mum will have to walk her down. Steve, one of my guys has got a question for you. Uh, they're betting eight to ten that Harry shaves before the wedding. What do you think? Ah, uh, that's interesting. 
okay. Well, you know, it, it depends if uh, Megan has uh, told it, you know, is, is wearing the trousers yeah. from uh, now on. But, you know, I've, oh, it, it's, it, you know, the sun's supposed to be shining. It's a nice day out for them, for, for them. brings people into the country. You know, there's always a sort of feel-good factor when uh, you have things like royal weddings. So, yeah. You know, it's not a bad thing. And then, obviously, straight after, or a few hours later, you've got the FA Cup final. Yeah, there'll be a bigger crowd there than the wedding, eh? <laughs> yeah, there will be a bigger crowd. Who will win, Steve? Who will win the FA Cup this year? Well, it, it's, you know, it's anyone's call. You don't really know what, uh, what United or Chelsea teams are going to turn up. I mean, Chelsea... Uh, you know, played some good football up until a couple of games ago, and they were just uh, not interested at, uh, at Newcastle. And it makes you wonder whether, you know, if it is Conte's last game, the player's going to be up for him. Um, I mean, Mourinho you know, seems to think that his team are, are, are going to do the business for him. I, I, I really don't know. I mean, I'm hoping it's a good game. It's, it, the trouble is, these teams often cancel each other out. Yeah. It could be a sort of fairly down 1 0. It'd be nice to see. Uh, you know, three or four goals, something sort of exciting for... for, for the yeah, we need an early goal, Steve, otherwise it's just going to be stalemate, checkmate, you know, yeah, that's... Yeah, and, and we don't want to see that, you know, as I say, it's, uh, you know, two big teams, not the two best teams, obviously in yeah. years gone by when they played in the FA Cup final, they have been the two best teams, but, um, you know, so, but, and I think it'll be a, a consolation prize for either of them, um, you know, to, to win the FA Cup. I think for Mourinho and, and Man United finishing second winning the FA Cup, um, good you know, year. I suppose I'd say that's an okay season. That's probably as good as it as good as it could have been. On, you know, bearing bearing in mind Man City have been uh, imperious, really. Yeah. Well, all right, Stevie. Well, uh, I think it's been a great game, and uh, we're obviously you've got to wait another week before your beloved Fulham. I know. Yeah. Well, it's you know it's exciting. Obviously, tickets went on sale yesterday. My understanding is we've probably sold about two thirds of all our, of our tickets on the first day. Um, both clubs get an allocation of thirty eight thousand. Both clubs will sell out. Well, well what would the ticket easily. cost for that playoff? It, it, it varies. So the basic, um, the highest category, category one, is ninety-eight pounds, okay. and then there, the lowest category is thirty-six. So, uh, you know, and, and, and sort of various prices in between. Yeah. Oh, so you can get there. Okay, five hundred rand to one and a half grand. That's yeah. it. Yeah. All right, Stevie, fantastic. We will be speaking to you again next week, and our fingers are crossed. We, we're definitely funking for you. Yeah. Yeah, no, lovely. I mean, I've had lots of uh, well wishers uh, supporting other clubs. You know, I think uh, on, you know a lot, lot of people out there, you know, neutral fans, sort of like Fulham. They're not really a threat to most people. Friendly club. It's been 43 years since we last played at Wembley. I was there, uh, saw us lose to a team in Carrot and Blue. So yeah, West Ham. Yeah, yeah. Well, Stevie, as you know, it's a London club. It's always good to get into London and go watch these games. Yeah, be great. no, absolutely. I'm looking forward to it. I'll talk to you next week, guys. Lovely. Thanks right, very Steve. much, Stevie. Take, Take it easy. Bye. Cheers. Bye bye. Yeah. All right, let's go on to Europa League Cup final. Yeah. Way too good at least to come and drink. Well, once Payet came off in the first half, he's been their best player in the competition. He came off. Shame, yeah. And it was 2 0, and uh, Mitroglou hit the post for, right. uh, I'd say, it. 10 minutes to go. Once that came out, it was always yeah, too good. They shouldn't be in that Europa League. They, they tell me Barcelona might be snipping up uh, Griezmann. Well, that's, that's the, the talk. The talk here. Uh, that yeah. 100 good million. Player. Yeah. I just don't know where he's going to fit, though, because he plays in the same position as Messi. You know, that inside right channel where he cheats and well, messes. Well, who's, who do they uh, replace Neymar with? No one. No, no one. Well, Coutinho. And they've got Osman oh, yeah, Dembele, Coutinho, the youngster yeah. that scored last night, but he's an out and out right winger. So, uh, is, he, is he the Celtic boy? No, no, that's the other Dembele. He's the There's guy that came Dembele's, from Dortmund. Eh? Yeah, and you're we a got one. boy, yeah. yeah. But this is the we French got Musa. The other one's Belgian. Yeah, he's French. Oh, OK, Dembele. All right. Now, let's move on to what's happening here, Budge, because uh, you've got to work out the bets for people. Yeah. But... Spanish fixtures. Tell me what's going on. Well, it's the last week of the Spanish of the Spanish league, Paul. The Italian as well. There's no other leagues. PSL's finished, English finished. So it's just the Spanish that we got, yeah. So okay. we've looked at those, and uh, the betting will come up shortly. It's there's not many leagues. So when you see the bets, we've had to have a bit of flair in the. Yeah. But well, then, uh, well, well, we got the, the cup finals yeah, first. Yeah, and then Paul, we yeah. get the right sheet first. So the cup the cup finals first. Here well, we go. Well, you know, Chelsea, Man United. I just don't see this being a good game. I hope there's an early goal. Me too. It's got to have an early <coughs> goal. Chelsea are coming up with a 3-0 drubbing away, yep. man. You know, they're coming off a, a work win, luck win. Yeah. To me, both sides haven't fired this year. Yep. Uh, as Steve uh, alluded to a moment ago, run second in the league when they have a cup final. Mourinho is going to be a right. Uh, the other boy, 
needs to win something. Now, I think he's gone the other yeah, night. Yeah, you've been saying that for yeah. months, but just you've been saying that. You know, we were at the Chelsea-Liverpool game, and just the body language. Last year, he was running up and down the touchline. Even when they scored, he was diving into the crowd. You could see there's something wrong at Chelsea. I think he's gone. And Mourinho, I think, has won 16 of the last 17 cup finals he's played in. But uh, great record. record. You know, I don't know, Paul, uh, two to one, the draws look, to me, looks the right bet, you know. Yeah. Under two and a half goals is five to ten. You know, they need Hazard to fire. Oh, he's a he's good such player, a good Paul. Player. You, you know, know. He, he, in both squads would be the quality. You know, oh, you've got, no doubt. you got the, uh, Pogba flits in and out of games. Yeah. Your boys up front are quick, yeah. but they, they, they're they always getting rotated, so yeah. it's hard to tell. So, interesting game, you're saying take the 90-minute draw. Yeah, I would take it, one all 90 minutes, yeah. Okay, now now we've got a, a free state stars here. Yeah, but this is a big game. It's in Cape Town, you know, first game or cup final for Maritzburg. Free state stars have been one a few years ago. You know, both teams have a go, Paul. Yeah. You know, if it, some cup finals they, they tend to be dour. I yeah. like Maritzburg here. You know, yeah. free state stars beat uh, Kaza Chiefs in the game in Durban where we had the riot, but Maritzburg mm. beat Sundowns three one. True, that's good. And, and that's a good that's a good result. Marisburg have had a fantastic uh, brilliant year. They've run fourth. fourth. Now, yeah. now, am I right in saying that they've only won one of their last ten league games? That's uh, Free State Stars. Yeah, Marisburg have won five. So whether they've got the they the form teams, Marisburg, Marisburg, the form team. Well, but the draw likewise a play. But of the two teams, I think it's eight to ten Marisburg to win the cup outright. So we local boys, but yeah, we've got to support them. We've had a few guys boys. over the years play for yeah. Marisburg. Okay, now uh, the, the, oh, those are the teams they eliminate. Let's go have a look at Glasgow Celtic. Oh, well, you know, three to ten, Paul. You know, oh, mother will rubbish. Yeah, you know, I think they finished thirty-four points behind them. They've only won one of the last nineteen meetings. Ooh. Celtic to win by more than one goal was our bet. It was nine and a half to ten. Okay. Three to ten. I'm sure if you want to throw them in your multiples. The German finals. Well, there's got a. There's going to be a. A bit of trouble in one this game. Five. One to five. Yeah, Bayern got knocked out of the Champions League. They win everything in Germany. But ironically, the manager of Eintracht Frankfurt is a Croatian guy, Niko Kovac. Oh, yeah. He's been tarted to go to Bayern Munich next year. Now, they've tapped him up illegally. So the oh, Eintracht yeah. people are throwing the toys out the cot. But uh, on the pitch, you can't see Bayern Munich not winning, Paul. Yeah. Jeez, it looks like these, these cup finals, apart from the one in Wembley, well, the others Wembley. look... I think I want to be a good one, but, uh, you know, obviously Chelsea, Man United. Ironically, I was at the first one in 2007 at Wembley. Yes. It was 40 degrees. What to describe. Worst game I've been to in my life. Is that right? Drogba, yeah. scored, Drogba scored two minutes to go in extra time. Terrible. Mourinho parked the bus, made sure United wouldn't catch them on the break, and Fergie... He's it, become a, a uh, guy who, who, who's, who's come away with, with uh, accolades. He was a manager who yeah. was so highly spoken of. I mean, he won everything, going yeah. from Porto to Chelsea. And Chelsea, when they were really good, were yeah. a great side to watch. Yeah. Man United aren't a great no, side to watch. The thing the is, world, he's done a, he stopped the bleeding. He's only yeah. signed six players. Yes. If you take uh, Mkhitaryan and Sanchez as a swap. Next year is his big league. Is his big, this is a big time. We've got to get four or five good players in But who's he going to axe? Why are we just <coughs> talking about him? He's going to axe Carrick. Well, Carrick's his two RC now. Yeah. You know, but we can't, you know, we've got to get... Who's his one RC? Well, he's gone. He's retired in uh, Faria. Yes, he's yes, gone. But, yes. you know, we've just got to start playing better football. And the only way we can do that is get better players in. We can't yeah. have Herrera's man-marking people in the midfield. Yeah. You know, Pogba yeah. playing like he's a Harlem Globetrotter. It's time that they stood up and were counted. Yeah. The uh, back, we've got to get better full-backs in. Can't have Ashley Young in Valencia. Ashley Young's made the England squad. Yeah, sure, but he's not a left-back, Paul. Yeah, he's a left-winger. Yeah. So, you know, we just got to get it sorted out. And we Valencia's need another, getting long in the tooth. Likewise, he was coming as a right-winger, now he's right-back. So there's yeah. just too many weaknesses. You know, Will the keeper four, stay? Oh, he's been our best player for the last five years. If he doesn't... Yeah. Serious trouble. Yeah, gee, that is, that's, that's his, uh... Okay, that's that. Uh, let's go on to these Spanish fixtures, yeah. budget we found, because there's always good games in the yeah. Spanish league. Yeah, now the first, ironically, the best, the form team in Spain is Levante. They beat Barcelona last week 5-4. I couldn't believe it. They were 5-1 up. They've wow. won eight of the last 11 games. Now, Celta Vigo, you know, there'll be plenty of goals in this. You know, it's one o'clock kickoff, the last game. Yeah, anything's possible here, Paul, you know. Third I, place, fifth. Yep, you know, I think Levante can get another result, win a draw. But Salta Vigo, obviously, one o'clock kickoff in Spain, but uh, plenty of goals in that game, Paul. Yeah. Severe oh, sorry, that's 14 players, 15. <coughs> Let me get yeah. my, my facts together here. Levante yeah. down the log, but three to one Levante to keep the running. The well, main you know, going. win a draw, Paul. I think it was even money, win a draw. You know, mm. I like yeah, that. That's win it, in yeah. our bets, but uh, I don't like the early okay, kickoffs. Okay, then. Uh... Sevilla, since they fired the Italian, since they got knocked out of the Champions League. 
they've come well at home. They should be too good for Alaves, Paul. Four to okay. ten in your multiples, but you, know, you can't. Malaga, Getafe. Yeah, Getafe. I like Getafe, Paul. You Malaga know, Malaga been relegated. Yeah. You know, Getafe away from home, they're tight. You know, I like 13 yeah. to 10 that bet, Paul. Uh, our boys, Las Palmas, Las they Palmer, relegated. Well, they're relegated. Yeah, there's trouble in the camp. The manager's on his way out. The goalkeeper's been fired. Now, Girona is, is Pep Guardiola's brother's team. Now, he mysteriously popped up and got a share in uh, Girona. They're a Basque team just outside Barcelona. They've only won one of the last nine, but Las Palmas haven't won any in the last 15. So win and draw Girona if you'll be there, Paul. Okay. Yeah, Leganes, known as the Cucumber Growers, that's the country or the province that they're in in Spain, against Real Batiste, the team of the year in Spain. Team of the year, how did yeah, they get well, that? Because they finished they were sixth. 36, Paul, being great. Kiki Sanetti or Seti, and the, he was at Los Palmas last year, the manager, they fired him, and uh, he's gone there, done a great job in the Europa League. I like Real Batiste here, Paul, 15 okay. to 10. All right, let's go have a look at the next one. Well, you never know what's going to happen with Real Madrid. Gee, they, shouldn't they beat Villarreal? Well, they should, but they're going to rest all the main players with a cup final next Mind week. Mind Villarreal finish fifth? Uh, come well, Villarreal. Does the uh, draw look good? You know, Paul, you, that, uh, that's the one game I didn't know what to do. Yeah, fair enough. Because what are Real Madrid going to do? If you were Champions League next Saturday, would you be out there getting stuck in? You know, say so Ronaldo will be injured. Yeah, but but Bale the, will play. the, the, the still, other side of the coin is, say... Drop six. Let's yeah. say but drop six. The six guys now will be fighting for a place no, in the no, final. Sure. They can have a go. No, of course. Yeah. Just, uh, you know, you just never know with that type of game. You know? Yeah. Okay. You know, Valencia, I think, will be too good for Deportivo La Cura. They've already been relegated. I think Valencia will be too good for them. Yeah. Now, Espanyol, likewise, the guy that was at Watford with a beard, uh, Kiki Sanchez Flores, they fired him at Espanyol. They haven't lost since they fired him. But Atletico Bilbao, they've also, they've also replaced him and will are replacing him. I think there'll be plenty of goals there, Paul. Okay. Win and draw Espanyol for me. Atletico Madrid, well, they won last night. Yeah. You know, fortunately, the game's on Sunday, so it gives them a bit of a chance to recover. Ah, boy, they've won the last couple of games, but Atletico Madrid should be too good. They won seven of the last nine at home. And Barcelona, Real Madrid, you know, it's Iniesta's last game, reportedly for Barcelona. So they want to go at Naha, obviously yeah, flying back. Yeah. Should be too good for Real Sociedad, who don't, can't play away from home, yeah? All right, let's go and have a look at your bets, the, the soccer pools. Yeah, the soccer pools. I've gone three bankers in three fields in the soccer six. I've banked Celtic to beat Motherwell. I've gone the field with Chelsea, Man United. Likewise, Maritzburg, Free State Stars. New York City's Patrick Vieira's team. They've won all four games at home. They should be too good for Colorado Rapids. I've banked Bayern to beat Eintracht. And I've gone the field with Portland Timbers against... Los Angeles FC. They've got uh, Carlos Vela, the spare, the Mexican. He's on fire at the Where's moment. Where's Rooney going? Rooney's going to Washington. Washington, Washington okay. or DC United. So 162 with that one. District Columbia District United. District of Columbia, yeah. So Washington okay. is, yeah. The second one is the Spanish game. I've gone uh, the field with, uh, sorry, win and draw Girona at Las Palmas. I've gone Real Batiste, win and draw at Leganes. I've banked Getafe to beat Malaga. I've uh, banked Seville to beat Alaves. And I've gone the field with Villarreal. Real Madrid and Atletico Manera Cruzeiro, the Bele Horizontal Local Derby, yeah. 216. Okay, let's go to the big one. Yeah, they'll spend more money on the 10 than the 13, and you'll see why now. I've banked Celtic to beat Motherwell. Certainties. I've gone the field with United and yeah, Chelsea. Yeah, you covered. I've gone Girona win and draw at Las Palmas. Real Batiste win and draw at Leganes. I've banked Getafe to beat Malaga. I've banked uh, Sevilla to beat Alaves. I've gone the field with Villarreal, Real Madrid. Likewise, Maritzburg, Free State Stars. I've banked Bayern Munich to beat Eintracht Frankfurt. And I've gone with a home team win and draw against Los Angeles FC, 432. Okay, and then Now, the we Soccer go. 13 will be unbearable the next few weekends. It's 11 of the 13 games are Swedish. The, vi the you main leagues are old and doing a bit of homework, but oh, Paul, you know, when you can't watch games, it's difficult. You know, you don't yeah. know where the players So I've gone the field with United, uh, Chelsea and United. I've banked Bayern Munich to beat Eintracht Frankfurt. I banked Nord Copping to beat Cold, Cold, uh, Del Kurd. GF, GIF Sonsville win and draw against Ostersons. I've gone Trelleborg win and draw at Sirius. I've gone Degger Falls win and draw at Brage. I banked Falkensberg, who's second in the league, won all their home games this season. I banked Warburg's Bois to beat Osters. I've gone Lance Kroner Bois win and draw at RK Frege. I banked Lind Copping City to beat San Vikens. I've gone BK forward win and draw at Solentuna. Likewise, Oscar Ham's win and draw at Lunds. And I've banked him Jolby, who 
won seven of the eight home or won seven of the eight league games to beat at Sicton's two eighty eight, but very difficult that Whoa, day. Whoa, so, that is you, know, you catch it. Right, let's hit your best bits, yep. but it's time well, for a time yeah, for a bit some... of a licorice all sort this week, Paul. Okay. Active, a bit of Ric Flair. But uh, a bank a bank at Bayern Munich to beat uh, Eintracht Frankfurt. I've gone Glasgow Celtic to beat Motherwell by more than one goal. Okay. I've taken a fly in the cup final. I think Sanchez, I think we get a penalty. Sanchez takes the penalties. So I've backed Sanchez to score at any time against Chelsea. And I've gone both teams to score in the Maritzburg Free State Stars Cup final, 2008, 100 okay. Spanish treble. The Spanish, yeah, I've gone Getafe to beat Malaga. I've gone Real Batiste to beat Leganes. And I've gone Valencia to beat Deportivo La Coruña by more than one goal, 2,100 to 200. All right. You know, we've gone with the Serie A, so last weekend, so we've had to take a dip into that. I've gone Atalanta, who've got a win to have any chance of getting in the Europa League, to beat Cagliari. I've gone Chievo, Verona, the Flying Donkeys, to beat bottom of the league and already relegate to Benevento. And I've gone over two and a half goals, Genoa, Torino. And the last game, Juventus, Hellas, Verona. It's a Saturday game. I've gone over one and a half goals in each half. I thought the odds were quite good there, Paul. You know? so, so, so there's got to be two goals in each half. You know, they two pretty, goals, so it's got to be four total. Total and four, yeah. But so there's got to be two, two goals teams. in each half. Yeah, yeah, I think they'll win five or six. Okay. And Hellas Verona relegated. Two goals in each half can be one team. Yeah, well, it could okay. be one or both other okay. teams could score, yeah. Uh, the American, the MLS, when I've gone uh, Atlanta, we've only lost one of the last nine games, and that was when the goalkeeper got sent off. They're at home against New York Red Bulls. I've gone for our man Busty and Schweinsteiger, Chicago Fire, to beat Houston Dynamo. I've gone New York City to beat... Colorado Rapids by more than one goal. And I've gone over two and a half goals in Portland, Los Angeles game, 2,100 to 200. Sure. Yeah, there's a lot of homework trying to find these yeah, bets. Sure. And, uh, uh, these are hard and bets then the Swedish quad, because that's what's going to happen, Paul. We're going to be doing the Swedish, the American, and the Brazilian yes. from now on in. I've gone Malmo to beat Hacken at home on Saturday. I've gone Nordkopping to beat Dalkurd by more than one goal. And I've got both teams to score in the GIF Sundsvall and Ossesons and Sirius Trelleborg game, 14 to 1. And the last and one? And the six on the Exxon, I've got uh, Getafe to beat Malaga, Sevilla to beat Alaves, I've got Valencia to beat Deportivo La Coruña, I've got Chievo, Verona to beat Benevento, I've got New York City to beat Colorado Rapids, and uh, Chicago Fire to beat Houston Dynamo, 3,800 to 200. Sure. Well, there's a few there, but it's, no, it's, it's not easy now. No, no it's, it's difficult, easy, Paul, but, and, uh, but, uh, because uh, we can't watch them. Mm. You know, we're guided by the websites and what you read, so it's tricky. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's it, and uh, I'm going to be following it very closely, oh, yeah. Budge. But again, there's some very good games, good cup finals. Well, this let's hope the good cup finals, yeah. Paul. You know, I just hope. When, the when is the, the main night well, of the Chelsea? The good thing is it's at uh, quarter past six, so it's a lot hot. Or on, quarter past five in England on Saturday, so yeah, it should yeah. be a bit warmer. Yeah. You know, the three o'clock kickoffs in the heat, it's just, um, you know, yeah. people park the bus. and Yeah, no, absolutely. All right, Budge, thanks very much. Well, there, you, there we are. That's what's happening this week. Make sure you stay on side.